guys welcome to today's video thank you ever so much for choosing one of, one of my videos to watch it means honestly it means the absolute world to me i know i always say it but it's true um today is part three in my series of monochromatic makeup looks today we're doing the color red if you'd like to have a go and see how we ended up here then please stay tuned okay guys so i look a bit of a mess but that's fine we're still in the process today we're actually going with two palettes and the brightest palette by beauty bay this one here i think this is the old packaging because i've had it for like three years but Oh, it's all good. So we're going to use these reds. The first brush we're going to go in with is the Spectrum B07 brush. And we're going to go in with this hand, Head Over Heels, this deepest red shade. And we're going to blend that all over the crease. And bring it up. So, so like that. I have sort of um, primed my eye with the Sample Beauty Erase Boost Base. Go in with this Hot Stuff shade, this one here. So go along the line. And blend that over the top. It's mad, it's taken me a couple of tries. I love working with red, but it's taken me a couple of tries to like come up with a look, like a monochromatic red look, because I should know, I don't know why I found it so hard. But like whatever I was doing, it was just not working, so that's fine, we got there in the end. So um I'm now gonna dip into my Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions palette, this one here, because I want to take this, I think it's Nico Tools brush, but it's just a small sort of packing brush. And this shade here, this darker purpley red shade, I'm going to take that and I want to pop that in the crease along the outer corner just to add some depth before we then go in with the black. Okay, and now I'm going to use the same brush and go in with the sparkly black shade. This shade is a little bit lighter, you do have to sort of go in a couple of times over and over, but as you build up it does get better this really sort of loose fluffy brush and back in with that hot stuff shade and really sort of blend that over the top of the black and in with the other colours we've used. I'm doing my eyes first because obviously then you can clean up any fallout um, and just tidy up the edges as well. Back in with the Ruby Obsessions palette, I know I'm going back between the two but it's just it's just what worked so I'm going with it um this lighter shade here and i'm just gonna blend that on the edges because i really want to just soften that red so like so sort of on the edges and in a little bit just so we'd have no harsh lines because we don't like harsh lines here as you guys know unless it's our liner okay once you're happy with the shape of your eyes and they're kind of looking like this we're gonna go in with glitter so i'm gonna use my usual love shy glitter fix gel this one here and I'm going to take basically just a flat brush that you can then do like you would if you're going to cut the crease. Please tell me what I make up is always easier on one eye than the other. Like I'll spend ages trying to get an eyelid to work on one eye, go and recreate it on the other eye, but it happens really quickly. And then I'm going to take this little pot of Cosmetic Safe Glitter, it's just any red glitter would do, and we're going to pop that over the top of the glue. Just really like make it pop. I prefer these days because I've been doing a couple of like dramatic, more dramatic makeup looks. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do my makeup without glitter or liner or anything ever again. Anyway, the glitter addict is official. Then towards the edges just try and like brush it onto the black a little bit but not too much. Once you have moved your glitter I'm going to go in with a tiny brush. This one I think is actually for nail art but it works just for tiny and we're going to do some dots of where we want our gems to go. I'm just going in with my small gems, the red ones and this way a handy the little brush comes in handy because I'm just going to go in with the brush and pop the gems on because it's a little bit fiddly but it's totally worth it in the end. And now we're going to go in with the liner. I don't actually have a red eyeliner. I thought I did, but I don't. So I'm just going to move like this purpley one. And I think it just kind of ties the look together nicely. It's a hand iron eyeliner in the shade 08. This one here. You can just get these on Amazon. They're super cheap, but they work. So I'm just going to go in and do a wing. Try and match with the other side. I'm going to use this line as a guide. And um, for mascara, I'm going to go with my Super Size Fat Lash Mascara by Collection. And then we can move on to the base doing okay it's just my skin today and this lighting is looking a little bit red and spotty but that's fine skin is unique and different and it has different marks on it and that's okay i think i want glowy primer so you know what we're gonna go in with the jessica black glow drops highlighting primer for the face this one here uses primer for ages i think in my head i always think of just using it more in the summer but why why not use it all the time 
when we are glowing. But you know what? That's absolutely fine. I love it. I mean, glow with foundation anyway. So even with a matte foundation, the glow still comes through. So that's fine. Foundation. It's going with a foundation I haven't used for a while. This is the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid. I do like this foundation. It's a little bit lighter coverage, so hopefully we'll be able to see some of that glow come through. So I'm just going to give it a shake because I haven't used it for a while. And a couple of puppy pumps. And there we go. It's me more medium coverage. Um, but you can build it up. But yeah, definitely more of a medium, but it does have like a lighter finish, more of a glowy finish than my usual matte foundations I use. And it's good because you can just use this to like tidy up the eye if you need to. Bit of foundation covers up all kinds of secrets. Let's do the MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. This one here. I haven't used this one in a while because it is a little bit of a lighter coverage, but that's fine. I just want something nice and brightening, and that is definitely what this does. So I'm gonna pop this out and I'm just gonna draw it up a little bit there because we're gonna use it to tidy up my uh, eyeshadow. You can see that there, like it has really brightened, which is always a bonus. We do have red packaging on a powder, so we're gonna use that powder today. So the powder that has red packaging. Da -da -da, the Bourjois Paris Healthy Balance powder with a matte finish, so it'll be alright over this glowy. Uh, packaging is red, so I'm following the brief. Go me. Okay, so I'm just going to pat this under the eyes and set my face. But I'm going to go and just finish off the eyes because I need finishing off. To go in with the shade Cherry Aid. I'm just going to go in and run this along the lash line with the Huda Beauty Confessions palette the shade along the lower lash line on top really sort of making sure we sort of smudge it and bring it up to where the other red eyeshadow, red eyeshadow is um I am going to clean up that smudge I always get a smudge right there for some reason and we're going to go in with the bright cherry aid color and just run that on the lower lash line as well just to brighten it up Pop some mascara on the lower lashes and then I'm going to go on and do brows. So that's pretty much the eyes almost done. For brows, I'm just going to spoolie them up with this She Glam spoolie. Um, and then I'm going to pop on some of my Benefit Gimme Brow. And oh, I just want bold brows that don't move. And this is an icon for a reason, so... Okay, so I don't have a bronzer that's like red or red packaging. So I've gone for this one, which is like warmer undertones. I like red. Does that count? That counts. I'm just going to work on chiseling. I'm just going to go and pop another gem on because that one's just fallen off. Didn't put enough glue on. Um, but then I think I'm going to pop some gems like, I think I want to put some light around the brow. I think we're just going to go a bit nuts, really. So let's get some glue. Let's get some gems. We're gonna do some silver, some red, and let's just oomph up this look. So I'm gonna add some more gel there. I'm gonna do some gems down here and here. Is that enough gems? I feel like that's probably enough gems. Let's go and do some blush. That is enough gems. I, I need to. I need to. I need to have more self control. But it's all good. Blush. I think I'm going to use the California by Benefit. It's in this like bright red, like ready orangey packaging. I love it, and it's more of like a ready blush. I think I do want quite a nice pronounced blush look today. Obviously, because we're doing sort of a monochrome red, and obviously a nice ready blush would really tie that all together. So let's just smush this on. Highlighter. I think I'm going to use the same one I used in my other video because it's more of a pinky highlighter rather than sort of ready. But it's um this one here. So I think I'm going to do a combination of this one and this one. They're a little bit deeper for my skin tone, but they do they do work. So if I mix them together, so if I mix that pink one and Hex, that's Jinx and Hex, a little bit of Blue Moss, I think we should get a ready sort of highlighter. For lips that I've been looking forward to the most, obviously red lipstick, I do own quite a few, so bear with me while I choose which one I want to use. I'm going to use uh, the Kylie Kylie Lipstick in the shade Pomegranate. This lipstick is so pigmented, so you don't need much at all, but I'm just going to pop this on because I think it would match so beautifully. And then we're going to just do some setting spray. It's the closest one to the colour red, this one here. And the Pure Lit Mist in the shade in the Illuminating Setting Spray. 
and I'm just gonna... Okay guys, so this is today's finished look, this is a red monochromatic makeup look. Let me know what colour you think I should do next. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next upload. We have loads of fun here and we have loads of gems. So yeah, um, take care of yourselves, my little stars, and I shall see you soon. Bye!